11.7, monitor risks. Monitor risks is the process of monitoring the implementation of agreed upon risk response plans, tracking identified risks, identifying and analyzing new risks, and evaluating risk response effectiveness throughout the project. The key benefit of this process is that it enables project decisions to be based on current information about overall project risk exposure and individual project risks. This process is performed throughout the project, as in Pinbok Guide, page 453. In order to ensure that project team and key stakeholders are aware of the current level of risk exposure, project work should be continually uh, monitored for new changing and outdated individual project risks and for changes in the level of overall project risk by applying the monitor risks process. The monitor risks process uses performance information generated during project execution to determine if implemented risk responses are effective, level of overall project risk has changed, status of identified individual project risks has changed, new individual project risks have arisen, risk management approach is still appropriate, project assumptions are still valid, risk management policies and procedures are being followed, contingency reserves for cost or schedule require modification and project strategy is still valid. Monitor risks inputs. Input number one is project management plan. The components would include the risk management plan because it provides guidance on how and when risks should be reviewed, which policies and procedures should be followed, the roles and responsibilities in the monitoring process and reporting formats. Input number two, project documentations. Documenta the documents that should be considered as inputs for this process include issue log, lessons learned register, risk register. The risk register has key inputs that include identified individual project risks, risk owners, agreed upon risk responses, and specific implementation actions. It may also provide other details including control actions for assessing the effectiveness of response plans, symptoms and warning signs of risks, residual and secondary risks, and a watch list of high priority risks. The risk report. This includes an assessment of the current overall project risk exposure as well as the agreed upon risk response strategy. It also describes the major individual risks with planned responses and key owners. Work performance data. This contains information on project status such as risk responses that have been implemented, risks that have occurred, risks that are still active and those which have been closed out. Input number four, work performance reports. These provide information from performance measurements that can be analysed to provide project work performance information including variance analysis, earned value data and forecasting data. This information could be relevant when monitoring performance related risks. Monitor risks, tools and techniques. Tools and techniques number one is data analysis. This would include technical performance analysis a technical performance analysis compares technical accomplishments during the project execution to the schedule of technical achievement. It requires the definition of objective, quantifiable measures of technical performance, which can be used to compare actual results against targets. Such technical performance measures may include weight, transaction times, number of delivered defects, storage capacity, and so on. Deviation can indicate the potential impacts of threats and opportunities. Reserve analysis. Pinball Guide says that throughout the execution of the project, some individual project risks may occur with positive or negative impacts on budget or schedule contingency reserves. Please note the wording is confusing in this sentence. It says, positive or negative impacts on budget or schedule contingency reserves. 
This does not mean that they will have an impact on the budget. What it really means is it may have a positive or negative impact on the budget contingency reserve or on the schedule contingency reserve. Okay, but what does that actually mean? It means that if the risks which occur are threats, then they may have a negative impact on budget contingency reserve or scheduled contingency reserve. For example, there's a risk that electric water may burn out because it has been used beyond its design limits. This could cause a drawdown on budget reserves to pay for repairs, replacement or upgrade, plus a drawdown on scheduled contingency reserves for the time taken to get it back into service. But if the risk was an opportunity, for example, using a new computer application is forecast to save money and time in the project, then these savings can be added to the project contingency reserve and schedule contingency reserve. Reserve analysis compares the amount of the contingency reserves remaining to the amount of risk remaining at any time in the project in order to determine if the remaining reserve is adequate. And of course, in this instance, the Pinbok Guide is talking about negative risks because, as I said before, positive risks can increase the reserves. The impact on the reserves can be communicated using various graphical representations such as a burn down chart. Chosen techniques number two is audits. If you recall the quality audit, whose purpose was to assess the effectiveness of the quality management system and not the quality of the products, in a similar way, now we have an audit to assess the effectiveness of the risk management system, not the effectiveness of different risk treatments. The project manager is responsible for ensuring that risk audits are performed at a regular frequency. The audit may be performed by team members, but personally I would recommend that the risk audit be carried out by people who are external to the team. And it may be undertaken by the project management office, and this avoids a possibility or the appearance of bias or conflict of interest or something like that. The frequency of the risk audit is defined in the project's risk management plan. However, if it becomes clear that there may be problems with the risk management system, an audit may be called out of session at any time. Risk audits may be included during routine project review meetings or may form part of a risk review meeting or the team may choose to hold separate risk audit meetings. The format of the risk audit and its objectives should be clearly defined before the audit is conducted. Those are techniques number three, meetings. Meetings that can be used during this process include risk reviews. Risk reviews are scheduled regularly and should examine and document the effectiveness of risk responses in dealing with overall project risk and with identified individual project risks. Risk reviews may also result in identification of new individual project risks, including secondary risks that arise from agreed upon risk responses. Reassessment of current risks, the closing of risks that have been outdated, issues that have arisen as a result of risks that have occurred, and identifications of the lessons to be learned for implement implementation in ongoing phases in the current project or in similar projects in the future. The risk review may be conducted as part of the periodic project status meeting or a dedicated risk review meeting may be held as specified in the risk management plan. Monitor risk outputs, output number one, work performance information. This indicates the effectiveness of the response planning and response implementation process by comparing the individual risks that have occurred with the expectation of how they would occur. For example, there is a risk that a motor might overheat and shut down on occasion, thereby stopping a critical process until the motor cools down. It's not possible to use a larger motor and so the mitigation response is to place an air conditioner beside the motor. This proves to be a satisfactory solution and so in this case the response planning and response implementation processes were effective. Output number two, change requests. 
the monetary risk process may result in a change request to the cost and schedule baselines or other components of the project management plan. Do you know what I'm going to say next? Change requests are process for review and action through the performed integrated change control process. Change requests can include recommended corrective and preventive actions to address the current level of overall project risk or to address individual project risks. I've been number three, project management plan updates. As risk can happen anywhere at any time, any component of the risk management plan may be affected. Any change to the project management plan goes through the organization's change control process via a change request. Update number four, project document updates. These would include the assumptions log, because during the monitor risk process, new assumptions may be made, new constraints may be identified, and existing assumptions or constraints may be revisited and changed. The assumption log is updated with the new information. The issue log can be updated, the lessons learned register, the risk register, the risk register can be updated with information on individual project risks generated during the monitor risks process. This may include adding new risks, updating outdated risks or risks that were realised, updating risk responses and so forth. The risk report. As new information becomes available through the monitor risk process, the risk report is updated to reflect the current status of major individual project risks and the current level of overall project risk. The risk report may also include details of the top individual project risks, agreed upon responses and owners and conclusions and recommendations. It may also include conclusions from risk audits on the effectiveness of the risk management process. Output number five, organizational process risk assets updates. And in this case, it will be templates for the risk management plan, risk register and risk report, and the risk breakdown structure. That brings us to the end of monitor risks. And in fact, the end of the risk module. And so the next module is number 12, project procurement management. So please read the corresponding chapter in the pinball guide before watching the video.